All right, so uh, this knife just got dropped off. It's apparently an heirloom, uh, handed down from his father or his grandfather. Uh, I've got a witch. So he wants it uh, cleaned up, doesn't want to rust there anymore. There's some chips in here, so we'll remove that. We'll also sharpen it up nicely for him. So uh, yeah, let's get it shiny and sharp again. All right, so we're kind of done with one side. I've got to still use sandpaper just to get into the sides that I missed. Now the thing is this knife is hand forged, I believe. So it's got a bit of a bow on the inside, a bit of a convex, especially at the top here. And this belt kind of being flat, it's not going to be able to go inside. Not unless I hit it at a wheel. Uh, thank goodness I've got a road cleave plate in for this. It really helped out. But the parts that we missed, we're going to use uh, sandpaper and do it by hand. After this, we'll go to Scotch Bright, kind of clean things up, make things a little bit even. And uh, yeah, here's basically after and before. All right, so it still looks pretty gnarly, and we'll fix that shortly. So I've uh, removed most of the rust. Still a little bit of patina around here. The uh, bone was a bit of a challenge, but I managed to get past it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and remove those chips. I've got a 60 grit belt on here. I don't know where out my finer belts. So we'll just hog off the steel. They aren't too big, but if I was doing this on a hand system, this would take me forever to get rid of. All right, let's get grinding. All right, so the chips are gone. Now, you might be wondering why I touched the belt. I generally don't advise people to do that, or actually I don't advise you to do that. The reason I did that was because, look, I make sure the belt goes slow, just so that we don't mess the heat treat up, all right? I spray water on it as well, I dip the knife, uh, you don't see that, it's off camera. But I dip the knife, make sure that it's not gonna overheat. <clears throat> now that being the case, because of how coarse this guy is, I'm still throwing sparks. This thing's going so slow, I can put my fingers on it and I'll be fine, but still throwing sparks. Well, chip's gone, so let's move on to the next belt. pretty darn sharp. I didn't realize how awkward it was to strop over a machine. <laughs> but yeah, we managed to maintain the convex. Uh, it's a little bit shiny near where the edges. Uh, again, some of the patina I can't get rid of. It's uh, just a little bit too deep. And it's not much material for me to work with anyway. If it was really thick, I might try to sand it down a little bit more. But yeah, not advisable. Anyway, it's sharp, it's shiny. I even crowned the spine a little bit <laughs> in case uh, they decide to baton with it on the back again. The crowning helps distribute the stress a little bit more and it would have a lower chance of snapping, I hope. <laughs> anyway, 
here it is end result uh this is by no means a super duper professional restoration it's just remove some rust remove the chip and sharpen the edge which we've done okay cheers see you guys in the next video